two more students in Santa Rosa were arrested for having knives on the school campus. Yeah, this comes two after two other students were arrested last week for the same thing and the deadly stabbing at Montgomery High School. We have Crumford's Michael Thomas standing by live in Santa Rosa with more on the story. Michael. Hey, good morning, everyone. You know, fixed blade knives are really what the Santa Rosa School District are seeing among students, and it's not just here at this school. It's across the district. We're talking about three-plus schools, really, ultimately, and that includes the one where student did die in a knife fight earlier this month. Let's get into some video as we talk about these details. You know, according uh, to Santa Rosa Police, the most recent incident happened yesterday. They were called to Herbert Slater Middle School and found a five-inch fixed blade knife and drug paraphernalia inside the backpack of a 14 year old. Then about an hour later over at Elise Allen High School police were called again about a teacher that allegedly found a three inch blade knife on the classroom floor. Police say that school officials determined it was brought in by a 15 year old boy. Now both students were arrested at both schools for possession of a knife on campus. But that's not all as James and Daria mentioned over the weekend two Montgomery High School students were arrested for allegedly bringing a seven and a half inch fixed blade knife to school on Friday. They were arrested on Saturday. Now that's the same school where a student did die in that knife fight two weeks ago on March 1st and Monday morning this week district officials announced that the principal and assistant principal at Montgomery High School would be on leave for the rest of the year. They're being replaced by the school's former principal until the end of this school year. Um, you know the police do say that yesterday's incident was taken care of properly. They believe that school officials did follow the protocols in a timely manner and everything like that. But do parents agree that's a different question, and that's what we're going to be asking people today, this morning, as they drop off their students, as to if the district will do any more implications or different ways the way that they handle these things. Well, only time will tell. But